Hello, I'm back again for another week of talking to you and maybe you not talking back to me. I would probably hope you weren't talking back to a video, but then again, each their own. I'm wearing my new jumper today, which I love, which is a science pun, as you can probably tell. Also, I apologise for whatever my hair is doing at the current moment. It's sort of in that awkward, well, I think it's in that awkward phase. I've never had my hair this short long before, so like it's really annoying on my neck and it's just sort of, I don't know what to do with it, so I apologise for that. Along with the her situation, there's also, I'm currently dying from, I don't know what, some college germs after being away from everyone. So I apologise if my voice goes at any point during this, or if it's a really annoying tone of voice that I've got for you. <laughs> I can't really help it. Anyway. This week I'm going to be talking about my revision plan for the next 13 weeks until exams. Woo! So, for revision, I don't really have like a timetable or a set plan. I just sort of know to say to you at this current moment, if you have not started revising now and you have got exams this summer, start now. The sooner you start, if you've not already started, the sooner, the more content that you'll get in before the exam, the more you'll feel confident getting in there, the more exam practice you can do, the more recall you can do of it, and the more accurate you'll hopefully be in the exam. And if you replicate the exam conditions each time, hopefully you'll feel more relaxed in there. And the more times you repeat that before the exam, the more comfortable and hopefully the more confident you'll be doing it. So I 100% start now and start your plan now if that's what you're going to do after watching this video so as i said i don't really have i don't have a timetable of revision that i set out for a week i have a sort of like a checklist that i'll get i'll start at the beginning of each day and i always start each checklist with a video I, it was a video i watched ages ago when i was doing my gcses and they said start with your least favorite sh subject first or your least favorite topic or your least favorite task first if you can do it at any point if it's not like got a set timeline or a set time that you're doing it in like a lesson or whatever so like i do psychology chemistry biology biology is my favorite then it'd be probably it's, see it's awkward with the chemistry and psychology bit because there's some aspects of psychology that I love a lot more than other bits and there's some bits of chemistry that I love a lot more than other bits so like um, like if I had to revise attachment in psychology and then uh, periodicity in chemistry I like periodicity more so I do the attachment first first because I don't like it the most and that way when I'm completed all of that it's like a reward to move on to something that I enjoy more which would be the periodicity and then when I've completed all that then I can move on to the biology which I love and adore so I recommend that because it's like a little reward to yourself for doing each bit when you're not but it's not actually a reward it's rewarding yourself with more revision woo a second thing I would suggest for a plan for your revision would be to do flashcards but do them off questions that you've answered so it's not just like the blank content that you're putting down and it's not just the mark scheme points that you're putting down you can like sort of put them into context and I find having Quizlet which is a digital app for the flashcards I can have them with me all the time because so, I always have my phone with me so if I'm stuck in traffic on the bus and I don't have anything with me I can to get my phone out and do a couple of Quizlet packages that I've made, whether they be some that my teachers have sent me, some that other people have sent me, or some that I've made off Taylor Tutor's video. And I find that's quite a good way of continually revising instead of having, oh, I need to do this right now. If you're just sort of like not doing anything, or you're like eating your dinner, and then like, so like if you do have a timetable and it's you have like set periods for eating dinner or whatever but you've not quite finished what you wanted to revise in the section before or you don't think you're going to get to finish it in the section after just you can just do a quizlet on your phone of that section and then you have more free time to do other bits um i'd also really suggest for your phone for if you want to set out times for revision periods would be maybe to 
get the Holes app, which I spoke about in the other video, or if you can get some sort of app or setting on your phone to lock your phone for a set, the set period that you're doing it, then you can't distract yourself with social media or YouTube or anything like that. Then again, um, for what I've just discovered recently um, is, I'm really sorry about my voice, I'm dying at the current moment, is an app called Adapt, which is sort of app called Adapt. It's a personalised revision timetable. So if you all sort of can't think of what topics to do in a morning or what topics to do during that week when you set your timetable, then it's sort of it tells you what to revise during that day so that you'll cover it all before the exam, which I think is amazing. And I've been loving that so far. And you can also add on... <coughs> you can also add on like other bits like homework or tests that are coming up that you can cover so that you know you've covered it. It's not just set that you have to do that, but you can change it about and adapt it to yourself, even though it is adapted to you because it's amazing. I'll link it in the description. Another thing that it's not new to my revision plan, well, it is sort of new. I started it when they first released the idea for it, but it is for biology and chemistry anyway. I've only recently started using it for psychology, which is the TT method. So each week I'm going to try and do a past paper or like topic questions on each subject and then negative mark them so I know what I need to improve on them. And then I have one free now on in, at college which I've dedicated to, an act, to do some action hours. It's on a Tuesday morning. I have, I have a first lesson and then I have an hour and 15 minute break until my next lesson and that's the only free I have now at college. All my others are full of revision periods for subjects and it's just oh, such, I don't even get a dinner now. I have no dinner uh, or I have a 15 minute break. I have to tell a lie, I have a 15 minute break every day uh, between first and second. Anyway, back to the topic. So yeah, I do a past paper and then I'll negative mark it and then I can use the action hour to improve what I've been to focus on what all what I drop marks on and then I've been doing it on a two weekly basis so far but sometimes it now we're getting close to exams I think I'm gonna be doing it weekly I'll go back and redo the paper and then see if I've improved hopefully I do improve that has been a trend I've kept well I've kept consistent in the marks that I kept last time and I've I ha there has been a slight increase in the bits that I've in the bits that I've redone. It, it's not been amazing so far because obviously I need to keep doing it and then keep retrying it. But that has been quite good so far. So I really recommend for you to do past exam questions. And and as and as I mentioned in that last point, and your college off or school or wherever offers revision sessions for you because I know a lot of places don't offer that and students are left on their own. I'm luckily in a college where they do provide revis revision sessions. Take advantage of them, make them part of your college timetable. Don't think of them, oh I'll go this week, oh I'll go next week. They Imagine that the, the, it's got an attendance mark. So yeah, they're my suggestions. I don't personally do a timetable, I do sort of like a checklist mechanism because I feel like I probably really beat myself up if I don't complete that section that I've set out in that set time period. Where if you but if you like setting yourself goals like that, then hundred percent make your own revision timetable. Get adapt and follow that like a re regime set and give yourself set time periods to do it. And if that's what you prefer, like an exam like exam conditions so yeah i hope that has been of some assistance i do severely apologize for my voice <laughs> i'm just, it's just the infections of germs from college of people are just uh, i'm gonna die but hopefully i don't die before exams although if i die after exams there's not really been much point in seeing the exams so yeah hopefully you're you are doing good and not infected like i am i'll see you next week hopefully i'll have a voice <clears throat> it gives you the I can't talk for some reason when I talk really high my voice is alright I don't know why I'm just dying <laughs>